What's up guys, Matt here and this is vlog number 58. Eight. Okay, so over the course of 57 past vlogs, it seems like on every vlog, different crew members and you guys are asking questions about advertising and ways to get your business out there to market. So, I could do another 58 different vlogs on different techniques for advertising and different techniques for getting your business out there and the name out there. So what I figured I would do is every once in a while I'll just share one technique that worked for me and over the course of a bunch of vlogs we'll, we'll get a bunch of different techniques. So one of them that I thought was a really cool idea that worked and it, it was just being a little bit different, okay, is I was explaining to some of the crew members that are at the in-house training um, today, a way that Lorene and I and the kids used to advertise at Disney World, and my whole goal with advertising when I was getting going in the business of starting is I didn't have money to spend on advertising. You always hear people about, okay, well, or you, you can put an ad in a local newspaper, you can put an ad in a football program, or you can put an ad here in, in a magazine, and they're $1,000, $1,500. Are you kidding me? $1,500, $1,000 to put an ad? I didn't have the money for that. I had to think of different unique ways to get advertising out there and to get customers to build my customer base to be able to sell my product. So, here's what I did. And by the way, I eventually tried different things like that and they don't really work very good. So, we still do stuff like that with the Rhinestone World and we'll... Um, put an ad on uh, the local Little League and this. and But we're just doing it to support the Little League and support the school. We know we aren't going to get a return on it. So if you're looking to get a return on stuff like that, very rarely does it happen. Okay? Now, this is what did work. So this is just one. Thousands of different ways that we would do advertising stuff. But this is one of them that I thought was pretty cool that worked. And it was pretty unique. And it worked way better than I even thought it was going to work. So, we're about an hour and a half from Orlando, so we went to Disney World and go to Disney World a lot. So, we always had annual passes to Disney World to be able to just drive up for a weekend and go for a few days and drive back, go up for a day, drive back. And every time we went to Disney World, we would wear custom shirts. Lorreen would have a big rhinestone shirt on, and I would have a nice shirt with some silver lens or some cool heat transfer vinyls and Jackson would have and Maddie would have but we would only put shirts on that and wear shirts that of things we could sell so we weren't going there with Minnie Mouse and Mickey Mouse because we know we can't sell those shirts anyway because we don't have the licensing for it all right so we only went with stuff that we could actually sell and I would always see people and people would be looking at our shirts or we'd be standing in line I could kind of see people looking at the shirts and I'm I could read their minds thinking man they're thinking that's a cool shirt or Lorraine's shirt's all blinged out and it's got a few thousand stones on it. And I see all the different moms looking at the sparkle of the shirt and everything. But we never really had people ask us, hey, where did you get your shirt from? Because it just seems kind of rude to just walk up to some random stranger and say, hey, I like your shirt. Where did you get your shirt at? Most people aren't going to do that, right? But I could tell a lot of people were intrigued and I could tell they kind of wanted to know where we got our shirts from. So I wanted to let them know that they could ask us where we got our shirts from. All right. So what we started doing is we would put little messages basically on the back of our shirts. We can customize whatever we want, right? What's really amazing about this business, this industry and that baby right over there, the vinyl cutter. We can make whatever the heck we want, okay? If we want a shirt that says something on it, give me 10 minutes, give me five minutes, and I'm going to have a saying on this shirt. And I can wear it around anywhere, and I'm advertising everywhere I go. Most businesses can't do that. I mean, think of most businesses. They can't wear their advertising and what they do. They could advertise their chiropractic business or dentistry or whatever on their shirt but it's not showing the quality of the dentist that they are or when we're making shirts we're showing the quality of our product as well it's a pretty cool thing all right and it makes advertising really easy so what we would do is we would make a crazy blinged out shirt for Lorreen and for Madison Jackson and I would wear some cool shirts and different ones that we could sell that look really nice 
And on the back of it, we would just have different things. Like on the back of Lorraine's, it would said, hey, do you like my shirt? Ask me for a card. And it would basically, that person that we know is looking at the shirt or when they see the back of the shirt, it's telling them, hey, it's okay to come over here and ask me where I got my shirt from, okay? Or, and they wouldn't all have the same things. They would just be different sayings on each of the different shirts. Hey, I made this shirt. Do you like it? You want one? Ask me for a card. So whatever kind of catchy phrase or saying or anything that you want to go on the shirt, you can tell the vinyl cutter to do whatever you want. Make something cool, do something unique, be a little bit different. And it's pretty amazing. We never really handed out business cards before at Disney World, even though we knew people were kind of looking and, and liked the shirts. But the first time we did that, we handed out probably over 200 business cards that very first time. And the reason why we didn't hand out more is because we ran out of business cards. And then the next time we went, we brought more business cards. And then what I started doing is I started think, okay, how can I track this? So I started putting coupon codes on the business card that we handed out to them. And it was a coupon code, 10% off um, custom shirt customer or something like that. Anything that would tell me that, hey, this is 10% off because someone came up to us and asked us for a card because they saw our shirt at Disney World or at the baseball game or whatever it was. Not because they found us online or we're in the storefront. So it was a pretty different and kind of unique way to advertise. But think about Disney. Every time you're standing in line for freaking two hours waiting for the 14 second ride, right? <laughs> but every time you're standing in line that whole time and the line keeps wrapping back and forth and you're walking by all of these people every time, a long line that's walking, then it's coming back this way. You're seeing a hundred plus people right there just in that one line, right? And all of them are seeing your shirt and it's crazy because we could see someone looking from far away and we would kind of look at each other and we're like, watch, when we walk back this way, they're going to ask us for a card. And it was funny because we were right most of the time. And they would ask us for a card and they would start a conversation. Hey, can you make shirts for our sports team? Can you make shirts for our church? Hey, I'm a... I own a bar. Can you make shirts for our bartenders? Can you do decals too? Yeah, we can do decals. Can you do fundraisers? Yeah. And it's an awesome conversation starter. When you wear a unique shirt like that, and it, it's got a nice design and things, but then on the back, it's kind of that conversation starter. It's free advertising, and everywhere you go, people will see it. It doesn't have to be an amusement park, right? It could be at the baseball fields. You wear an awesome baseball mom shirt and put on the back, hey, I made this shirt. You want one? Ask me for a card. So, again, you're not having to... Some of us, like I was off the start, I was petrified to go up and talk to people. I, You guys see me on 2,000-something videos. I was more scared than any of you guys are. If you think you're scared to get on camera, I was. I can guarantee you I was more scared than every one of you to speak in front of people and to be on camera. Okay, so hopefully the vlog helps you out. Hopefully it sparks a couple ideas for you guys, but be unique, be different, and use your business as your advertising. You guys and we have the easiest business and industry to advertise in because we make what we wear. It's that easy, and everywhere we go, we can put decals on our cars, we can put vinyl on our shirts and our hats and whatever we want and advertise everywhere. So hopefully it helped you out. Hopefully it sparked a few ideas. Of course, make sure to comment below, right down there. Comment, give me some more amazing questions. And to see all of the vlogs right when we release them, turn on the notifications on YouTube and subscribe to our YouTube channel right there. To see yesterday's vlog, click right up there. To see the whole playlist of vlogs, Click right up there and go to our website to get all of your heat transfer vinyl, sign vinyl needs for your business. Go to the website, therhinestoneworld.com right here. Thanks for watching again, guys. You guys are all awesome. I will see you tomorrow. Later.